Well, our weather nearly caused disappointment for an audience tonight at the final screening at the Sundance Film Festival. NBA star Jeremy Lin arrived late, but he got here to watch the documentary about him called Lin Sanity. The uh, Houston Rockets were grounded for hours in Grand Junction, but I did get to talk with a man of faith who also happens to play basketball very well and the filmmaker who wanted to tell his story. In the backcourt. Oh, okay. Lin the steal. He is an international phenomenon, a media sensation, Lynn's sanity. But the life of Jeremy Lynn is layer after layer of highs and lows. Independent filmmaker Evan Jackson Leon wanted to tell his story, but it didn't go so well at first. Jeremy, would you be interested in filming a documentary? No. Do you think we could shoot? No. Could we follow you right here? No. He's like, I'm not a, you know, I'm not Kim Kardashian. I'm not reality. I don't want that kind of attention. Yeah. I'm just a ball player, yeah. you know. And for me, I'm like, well, you're a ball player. that got an awesome story. So, you know, let's try something. Tonight, Lynn joined the director and producers on stage. A devoted Christian, he often expresses his gratitude to God. That is what finally convinced him to do the film. The more that I went through my journey, the more I realized um, how big of a part God was in everything. And I just felt like I had to share it and I had to share it with the world. And so this is uh, one of the ways in which I could do it. I had tried to get in the gym and they stopped me and they were like, Oh, sorry, this is the player's entrance. I was like, I know. And I just kind of was just like standing there. And then another security guard came over and like whispered like, oh, I think he plays on the team. Lynn has also suffered racial slurs and prejudice. Overcoming challenges is another message of the film, he says. Whether it's, you know, racial um, boundaries, racial stereotypes, or um, even just a sports story, um, and, you know, inspiring other people to pursue their dreams, I think there's a lot of different angles at which uh, I'm hoping this film will be able to impact people. <laughs> A standing ovation at Sundance. Simply the best, says the director. It's incredible, and you can't ask for anything more as an independent filmmaker. You know, this is the biggest stage to premiere something and to watch it with 600 people on the first day. Oh, it was amazing. I'll never forget it. Big a standing O. Yes. They asked a lot of questions. Any unusual the, ones the, they got? The Q&A was, uh, it went on for quite some time. Well, one person said, well, how has $25 million, you know, changed his life? What was the biggest purchase? And he said, oh, that's easy. My mattress. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, I don't wear fancy clothes or, you know, eat fancy meals or live anywhere, but boy, do I have a good mattress. He sleeps well. All he right. Does. Off the red carpet, back to the basketball court tomorrow night for Jeremy Lynn. Indeed. We'll Ooh. be right back.